Suddenly, Olivia screamed. A bat's face was peering in at the closed window. By the time they got outside, the bat was gone. But he had dropped his hat, and he had left a trail of peg-legged footprints. Wonderful, said Basil. That bat, one fidget by name, is employed by the very fin that was chasing. Why is that wonderful? asked Olivia. He stole my daddy. It is wonderful because, and Basil puffed out his chest, we now have the clues we need to find your father. And not only will we find him, but we will catch up with his fidget's employer. None other than the notorious Professor Radigan. Why, at this very moment, Radigan may be plotting something unspeakable. Indeed he was. In his secret hideout near the river, Radigan had assembled his gang of criminals. My friends, he said with a wicked grin, we are getting ready for the most evil scheme of my entire career. We are going to pay a special visit to the palace to help our beloved mouse queen of England celebrate her fifty-year reign. It will be a night she'll never forget. And, he continued, in a boastful voice, I'll finally be recognized as the greatest criminal mind of all time. Nothing can stand in my way, not even Basil of Baker Street. Boo! Hiss! shouted the gang members at the mention of Basil's name. Then they gave Radigan a great big cheer. Somebody else was at Radigan's hideout, too, but not by choice. In a lonely prison cell sat Olivia's father, surrounded by doll parts and gears. Suddenly the door opened, and an unwelcome visitor propped his head in. Quite a scheme, huh, Flaversham? said Radigan, and such an important part for a toy maker to play. The whole thing is monstrous, said Flaversham. Well, think what you may, sneered Radigan, but finish your job in time, or else. Or else what? Flaversham gulped. Just in case you have second thoughts, I've taken the liberty of having your daughter brought here. Not Olivia, 